I've just created a chin package on Patreon. <laughs> on the tune, including the basic tune, adding simple ornamentation, adding in triplets, chords. Um, we've even looked at some uh, techniques with the left hand to create resonance um, and bring out some nice tones on the tune. And now I'm going to talk about a what the bluegrass musicians call a bag of licks. So I'm going to take one or two bars from the second part of the steam packet a kind of a phrase that's fairly synonymous with a lot of Irish uh, tunes and show a load of different ways to ornament and to vary these two bars. And hopefully through this process, you will be able to pick out one or two that you can then apply to this tune and to apply to uh, any other Irish tunes that have that kind of similar phrasing towards the end. So hopefully there's loads of ideas in here. Grab a couple of them. Uh, try them out, practice them, and then put them into other tunes. And this is how one of the ways that you can develop your own style and create interest uh, for yourself and for others that are, are listening to your music. So here's a quick run through the Steam Packet. <laughs> specifically look at the very last two bars of the second part of the steam packet. And this is a phrasing that happens tons at the end of tunes in Irish music. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two bars and I'm going to play them a ton of different ways. I'm going to fully notate this and it's going to be available on my Patreon, Endescal Banjo. So if you do want to see the notation in tab, you can also switch on the note names uh, and in regular staff notation, it's all up there. And I'm using the Sound Slice platform, which allows you to loop one or two bars. So if you find a phrase that you really, really like, you can just grab that two bars and play it over and over until you got it. You can slow it down. You can throw in a metronome if you want. There's a bunch of different ways to learn on the uh, Sound Slice fantastic platform. So here goes the last two bars of the Steam Packet a whole smorgasbord, love that word, of uh, ways to approach two very simple bars. So here are the two bars in their simple format. And here's a lot of different ways to play that.
let's put some of them into context. Sometimes what you will do with the end of a tune like that is, let's say you play the second part and you really ornament it and you put in a ton of very busy ornamentation. And what you would like to do then for the last two bars is to simplify it and maybe bring out some long notes or some chords to just to re-establish the simplicity of the rhythm. So I'll give you an example of that. The opposite is also true, where we will play one round of the second part and, and maybe we bring out just the chords or the simplicity of the rhythm, like really driving home the downbeat. And then at the end, as a sort of a dismount, put in a more ornate uh, last two bars. So that would sound something like this. So again, going for that variety and changing things up and creating contrast will be to do a like quite a light or quiet second part and then finish it with a louder chordal section. So that was something like this. So again, it's about creating the contrast. So you're getting really small. finishing with something that's a little more brash. The opposite is also true. Play loudly through the first part of the second half and then finish with a little quieter section. At the end of that, there's a lovely little half note on the D sharp. So there are a load of ways of ornamenting and varying one very simple bar of Irish music. It's a phrase that happens a lot in a lot of different tunes. So if you go and learn off a bunch of these ideas, you'll have some things that you can bring to other tunes as well. And it just will add to your overall style of development. Of course, don't forget to check it all out on my Patreon. That's Enda Scahal Banjo. There's a link below in the description and there you will find a load of different tunes all fully notated. What I'm doing is creating packages of tunes. So rather than just one tune where it's got a load of stuff in it, I am providing the basic tune then a sort of a improvers version where we have simple ornamentation, more complicated where there is lots of ornamentation and then often a, very, uh, a version of the tune that has got lots of variation as well as tons of ornamentation and chords. And so you can track the progression of how you would develop a tune from this very simple format right through to something complicated. The beauty of using the Sound Slice platform is that you can just go and grab two bars from the complex version that you like. If there's a little run of notes or a little run of triplets or something, and you're like, I really like that. You can just go and grab that learn it and insert that into the simpler version. Uh, and so it's a way of developing your playing, challenging you to try something new that you haven't done before, to something that's maybe a little bit more difficult, and just doing it a bar at a time if you wish. And this is a great way, challenging your playing is a great way to, to, to progress and to improve. Uh, so I challenge you to go and check out my Patreon.